Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Welcome back to some more overhead. So yeah, we're back at it again. This time it's a wind event, apparently. What's this? Oh, just standard gears. We also have a fire selector here. Which I don't really have any fire units I want to work on. So I'm basically done with these two. So I guess I'll start on this guy. Why not? So there's a lot of shit that just came to us and I have not read it all yet. Maybe we have a another login event. Oh, nice. We have like login dailies. For ten days. Complete all missions. Oh no, they're gonna force me to do PvP again. I don't wanna. <laughs> I already finished like the hundred win PvP thing, dude. I don't wanna go through it again. Please, no. Don't make me do it. All right, so let's see. Where is news? There it is. All right, so we got events for Celestia. She's our new uh, grinding event character. We have Wukong in the gacha system. We got seven days of fire unit like material. Rock, paper, scissor event. Okay. We got a new server co op upgrade. Weird. I need to go look that up, and I've never. S I don't think I've heard of that, but maybe I have. And we got the growth stuff that we got for the waters for discounts and login events. Yeah, we pretty much know how that works. And plus you can also give her skins. Actually might work work for her. Cause I need a good wind attacker. Ash, I'm gonna need you to stop yawning, my guy. I'll oh, enter select on the seventh day. To be honest, if I don't get Ash's, like, shards before that, that would be nice because he's at, like, I think 31 shards. So that'd be useful. I mean, if I don't get it, I can always get S's shards. But that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Wukong. And she's a female. Uh, that's kind of rare, to be honest. I don't really see, like, female Wukongs in most games anymore. You get Wukong's um, equipment. Oh, so they have gotcha missions now. Okay. Summon over 40 times to get her equipment. Not sure how I feel about that. If you win rock, paper, scissors, you get these rewards. Oh no. Not rock, paper, scissors. I've never been good at rock, paper, scissors. Oh, this is a fire? No, um, wind boss, I'm guessing? Okay, so you can get these rewards for achieving. I also heard they got skins in here too, like more skins. Okay. Goes that. Oh, they're just like actual rock, paper, scissor coins. And I'm guessing you can use those against this. I'm going to go with scissor. Okay, so we're both drawed. Oh, this is going to be fun because that's just. Literally pure RNG. 
My guy, I'm gonna need you to stop copying me. Thank you, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Let's say, dude, I'm gonna hate my life doing this. You get quite a bit for raids. But that means you have to, like, really put on for raids. Okay, so let's. Whoops. Let's go to challenges. So there's a special PvP event going on. Oh, okay. So this is like. Oh, so this was like special because it makes you use like certain characters instead of like dividing PvP. Well, instead of like using PvP and forcing players to do certain things, you have your own PvP for those who want to like more of a challenge with certain characters. That's pretty cool. I wish more games would do that and not just force the ban list on people. <laughs> Ugh, being forced with ban lists is like so annoying. Alright, raid. Finally, a win raid. I have so many fire units. <laughs> the sad part is, I'm not lying. I literally have so many fire units that are actually done and ready to go. Ash is one of them. You're next. You're next. The rest of you guys, I'm not gonna bring. I'm gonna bring you. Wait, hey, hey, god damn it. Where'd you go? Get in there. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Where is my tank? There he is. This is normally the team I use for this. I'm wondering how this boss is gonna play, to be honest. Alright, I'm ready. But finally, dude, I was waiting for a win raid. That's the one thing I wanted so bad was a win raid. <laughs> Good thing I did start on Ash, huh? If anything, I should have read the skills and passives that this thing has. Dies pretty fast, though. From just level one. Alright, let's start raid two. Because I have a feeling, like, I definitely won't be able to prevail too far. But with Ash, I can definitely kill these two. Pretty easy. Oh wow, that lag kind of lagged you behind. Okay. Yeah, for me personally, I'm probably gonna have to stick with the wind raids and at least get some material to the point where I can actually finish off like other characters and move on. But yeah, I would recommend just sticking with your strongest element for like raids. If your strongest elements are winds, then stick with the water raid. If your strongest elements are water, stick with the fire raid. I mean, practically no reason to rush to be honest. But I'm happy because this event is going to help me finish Ash, like, way faster. If Ash puts on the burn, she will be able to kill. Oh, the spiders did come back, like, really fast, didn't they? That's not good.
So the little mini spiders are going to be the ones that actually stun and everything. So you're going to want to get rid of them real quick too. Noted. Hopefully all my coins come back before um, time for me to stream. Well, actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stream today. I hope so. Okay, we're going to see if she'll be able to kill, which is her first kill. Alright, she's still able to kill somewhat. Okay, so there's the resurrection. And I wanted to try to change just to see what would happen if I do this. Oh shit, nice. Oh wow, you did just stun him to death, didn't you? I need to fire up, find like a fire tank though. That's for sure. Alright, so all your attacks go directly to the raid. You rarely ever attack the spiders. Noted. I think it's kind of like the water raid because I've never really touched a water raid yet. I've mostly just been on Fafnir. And that's pretty much it. But it seems like we're doing just fine. I need to stop focusing on, like, just damage alone and keep my tank up. Because I realized I was just focusing on killing. Okay, so note to self, just wait it off on the first turn. Because we're going to do that queen thing first. Oh, that's why I wanted to try and stop. So I'm guessing you one shot. If someone is under this cocoon, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. If somebody's under that cocoon, you one shot. No, not my skills. I'd say you should still do bonus damage because HP is below 50%. And GG's. Okay, so I can do 5 pretty easy too. Fafnir, I think I can go up to like 7. If this is how we're going so far with the wind, then I think we should be good. And I'll probably be able to get some four star gears I can craft into um, five star. Okay. There's one character I want to take a look at since I already just picked him. Yeah, there you go. 
hilarious. Are you just like, um, the wind one? Attacks up to one, does additional damage if the opponent's on fire. Nice, 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 nice. It attacks up to four enemies. Okay, so you can help me out in that raid pretty good. When hit, inflicts burn. Ah, oh, I wish I had your, your freaking grimoire. Okay, so he'll be plus three. What's I ever do that? What's in the package that's just red, man? Those distract the hell out of me. I mean, that's cool and all, I guess. But I'm good. Oh, so you can buy skins. So the skins are more of like purchase. And they have stat boost. So we don't have a skin for just gems, unfortunately. I mean, not that I care of. I mean, we get like variation skins. That's personally, that's good with me. May not be good for others, though. Others will probably hate that. Which I'm pretty sure they'll voice their opinion on. You know, psh, shit. Whatever they decide on, I'll just roll with it. So apparently there's something in the gacha that's going up, too. Oh, we got a new stiff. Ah, fire. Hmm. Do I want to be on the fire banner or the wind banner? Because if I draw ash here, I should be fine, you know? But you know, I want to take a look at the new characters. So hold on, let me go find them. Alright, I think these are two. Let's take a look at Wukong first. Okay, so Wukong, your leader. Physical damage increase and decrease enemies. Attack by 5%. Not, not too bad of a leader. You know, decreasing damage is pretty damn nice. But physical... Eh, if you're going to build a whole physical team, that's perfect. But other than that, it's kind of meh. If you're having like more of a mixed team. But I'm pretty sure if you were to max or pretty much level up the leader skill, probably like 35 or 40. And I'm pretty sure the damage increase would probably be like 10%. Temporarily increase your own penetration damage. But 35%. Pretty nice additional damage on regular attacks. Oh, no, regular damage. Up to three enemies. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Regular damage. Hit up to five enemies. Additional damage on enemies who are bleeding. And status effect. Deals stun damage up to five enemies. 30% chance of stunning. If your own HP is above. 50%. 60% chance if it's below 50. Actually, that's a really good PvP unit right there. Okay, so her passive, if you have her grimoire, decreases own cooldown time by... 2 percent Hold on. By 2 seconds when healed. Does that count for generation too? If you'd like regen? I'm pretty sure it does. So teamed up with, oh, okay, I see what they're going with. I see what they're going with. But anyway, all right. Deals damage and, oh, deals bleed damage. When using a regular attack. Hmm. So you're going to ble deal bleed damage on your regular attacks. 
will have a chance. No, it's not even a chance. It's 100%. Oh, uh, so that's why they're, like, kind of keeping you away from, like, uh, trying to get the grimoire, like, really fast just because this one actually is really good. Also, inflict silent on the target for 20 seconds when using regular attacks. If the target is afflicted with bleed. So, if you have the grimoire, she's also just a straight up crowd control and debuffer. Kind of want to see them skills, my guy. Let's go ahead and look at them. I like her design too. Okay, that's kind of dope. Oh, she has Nimbus too. Alright, I kind of like Sun Goku. Or Sun Wukong. Okay, let's see. So you. Oh, increases damage for female units. So for those of you guys building a whole full waifu team, here you go. Oh, the increased defense. Did I say damage? Yeah, defense. Okay, make it more tankier. Increase HP for all allies. Regular attack does damage to one enemy. The final attack does damage to three. Okay, so you also heal yourself for every one attack. You also get damage reflection. All right, so pretty decent tank. Oh, deals damage up to three enemies and has a chance to... Wait, hold up. Okay, yeah. Or is it a chance? Okay, it doesn't say it, so I'm guess guessing it's a guarantee. But decreases healing for three enemies by 45%. I'm pretty sure that's higher than proxies. So, the, yeah, that's actually pretty decent and passive increases damage reflection on one target and it applies a damage reduction from one enemy to three allies when the battle begins okay so that means they'll just be taking more damage whoops so enemies are going to be taking more damage, but you're going to take their damage reduction and give it to yourself, basically. Kind of a weird, weird way to... Jesus Christ. But yeah, kind of a weird way to, like, phrase that. Okay, that is a really long crit. self-sustaining tank really good PvP unit <laughs> and a PvE unit to be honest if there is any enemies that heal all right let's go look for the other two how oh, we found the other one and Here's the one I was talking about, um, well, I was thinking of Wukong being teamed up with, since, uh, he has regeneration. So I think that would be the perfect duo, for sure. Alright, so this guy, a wind tank. HP increase for allies and damage reduction for wind units. Alright, first attack. Deals damage up to four enemies, decrease their attack, and taunts. Okay. Pretty much good. Damage reduction and taunt. Okay. 
All right, second skill does damage up to one enemy, applies desertion to targets and that lasts for 15 seconds with an 80% chance. All right, applies effect of duration, regular attacks, and, uh, oh, so basically you just can't do anything. So I'm guessing desertion is kind of like fear. Increases cooldown by 15% when returning to battle. I have a lot of questions about that one, and I hate it so much. <laughs> Alright, his passive, if you get his grimoire, increases defense for allies in his own back. Okay, so anybody that's behind him pretty much gets a defense increase. Applies physical damage reduction to self when the HP is below 30%. Applies only one time during battle. Okay. Well, let's go look for the last. Alright, founder. Okay, so attack increase for fire allies and defense increase. Oh, max defense increase for allies. First skill does damage up to one enemy and chains with. Wait, what? To all enemies? So, wait. Let me get this right. So, if there's just like two enemies who are on fire, they take the damage? Or is it just basically everybody gets hit? If, they're, if you hit one fire unit. I'm pretty sure it's anybody who's inflicted, right? Oh, yep, yeah, duh. Wolf, no brain, my bad. <laughs> the final attack hits up to three enemies. Okay, second skill, increase damage taken for all enemies in the front row. So that's basically weakening tanks and making them take more damage. Nice. And regular damage hits one unit and the final attack hits four. Okay, and the passive just deals damage to up to five units every two hits. Weird. Hold on. Did I ever go over that last character skill? No, I did not. I'll, I'll go back. My special self is trying to, you know, mosey on through all this. I was about to say, I thought she had a scythe, not a sword. That's kind of cool. Just jumps and spins back. She has music for her second skill. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I like her to be honest. The fire unit's got me interested. That's for sure. Wukong got me interested a little bit as well, if I was to go back into PvP. But to be honest, I don't want it. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to. Because they're gonna force me to go into, go into it every time. Oh, he's just like the other guy. Or is, did he get a name change like the others? That's nah, probably his dad or something. Damn. Oh, that's desertion. So he just pretty much hits him out of play. Dear God, man. <laughs> That's going to be really retarded. Dude, you're going to have to carry multiple tanks in the front. This guy is... <laughs> if, if you hit a tank out the way, you don't have to deal with it anymore. So, everybody's been using you-know-who, Mr. Hiller in the front. This guy is just going to put it into that. 
I don't know who I want now <laughs> after seeing that. Dear God. No, I thought it was just a stun or something. He'll still be there, but no. He literally hits them out of play. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to work on the wins over here. They're looking pretty damn good. <laughs> All right, let's get this summoning. Jesus Christ, my guy. So we got one SR. Okay. This is a character I'm not done with, so. That's pretty nice. More SRs. Ah, finally. I needed more copies of you. Okay, an SR. Oh, so bless you. Okay, so now she's plus one for me. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's it, right, for my summons? Yep. So that's all we got. Actually, I'm pretty sure I just finished that other uh, fire unit. All things I don't want. So I'm probably going to get rid of those shards. Yeah, use them to try and get Ash. But that's pretty dope. Looking for more. Well, looking forward to more events they're going to make. More, like, weird units. So I was wondering, how good is Celestia? I never really looked at her. All I did was just love her ups just so I can have another person for um, scouting. Oh shit. Oh yeah, she had the leader for like really high damage. I totally forgot about that. Bleed damage to four units. Defense down to one unit. Actually, yeah, she's not that bad. Seems like other people think so too. I'm down with working on her, to be honest. That'd be a good uh, wind raid unit. Well, water raid unit, basically. Whichever way you want to say it. But yeah, I'd definitely use her. They'll probably get plus two in this event. But yeah, that's pretty much mostly everything um, I wanted to show. So I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by. And to then, peace out.